Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are a week out from an election in Chicago where Rahm Emanuel was in a shocker forced into a runoff by a candidate who literally had like 40 times less dollars to spend on the election. Rahm Emanuel's raised another 20 million, I think, that are spent in this runoff against Chewy Garcia. And Rahm Emanuel, who has been like truly the one percent mayor, is of course having to desperately go out and reinforce his man of the people image. I guess actually not even reinforce it. He has got to create it from whole cloth. So the other day, he goes down to a health store on Chicago's south side. Chicago's south side, not the Tony side of Chicago. And a guy who works there, it just goes by the name GQ, said, um, well, you only want to be identified that way. This is in, uh, in these times. Said the mayor had come into the store several times in recent years. And when Emanuel stopped by two months ago, someone in the store suggested that GQ and the mayor pose for a picture. GQ agreed, but he wasn't happy about it. And you can see the look on his face in the picture. He's just sort of like, hmm. And Rom has an ear-to-ear -ear smile. In fact, GQ says he was smiling and cheesing and stuff. And I'm like, dude, come on. You're only doing that because you're trying to get elected. You're trying to make it look like you're a man of the people, but you're not. GQ is 40, lives in the city's back of the yards neighborhood. Says he only caters to people on the north side, like the Gold Coast. That's uh, the very Tony part of Chicago. The only time I see him on the south side is when it comes time for elections. So many people have been killed. 50 schools got closed, and most of them on the south, uh, south side and the west side, which are overwhelmingly black areas of the city. But you cater to the people on the Gold Coast. Why don't you cater to the south side? GQ is uh, not only opposed to the mayor's policies, says he also doesn't like him as a customer. He's real cheap, says GQ. Apparently, like, the mayor comes in and gets, you know, fresh squeezed juices. My friend used to make the drink. My friend who made the drink only got uh, tipped like a quarter or 50 cents on a drink. He says it costs seven bucks. Then the friend was reached, and he said he served the mayor multiple times. Remembers one incident where the mayor tipped him 37 cents on his juicing drink. And that's probably, like, one of the most intense, like, you know, to juice one of those drinks, it takes, like, five minutes. I mean, it's no, actually... No, it's a real effort, definitely. But the best part of this is how GQ posted the picture of a smiling Rahm Emanuel with him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a picture of him with Rahm Emanuel. Rahm Emanuel sitting there with a the juice drink, smiling ear to ear. A man of people. GQ is there looking like, I wish I, didn't be in, I wasn't in this picture. And he writes, the mayor of Chicago, Rahm Emanuel, came by my job. Still can't stand this motherfucker, though. <laughs> awesome. Really awesome. So that should be basically the social media hashtag over the next couple of weeks to get rid of Rahm. Yeah, really. Can't stand this motherfucker, though.